Sunday. Oh, let's see how he fares against uh, a slightly more established Ken in Apopino. Here we go. Different kettle of fish, as they say. But again, although Apopino has gone for V Trigger One, which is very interesting. Okay, he he does. Uh, did he choose V Trigger One last time? Or was it Sam? He did. Yes. He, yeah, okay. he used V Trigger 1 and V School 2, so this is this is like yeah, his yeah. standard loadout, but yeah, yeah. I do have to say that V Trigger 2 is fantastic Ooh. against him. Yeah, counter hit, so it still combos. Uh -huh. yeah, Normally he was only combos so yeah. if they're crouching. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one hit Meaty, so that actually wouldn't have worked. Oh, That's okay. a weird one. Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but he was crouching, but the, the overhead hit really high. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah, that would have only been plus 2. Okay, interesting there. Well, they went for the throw bake uh, regardless, but again, that's all in the past now. Apopino takes that first round. Sotolongo trying to build that two bars, but Apopino, whoa, okay. Lovely anti-air. And you're going for a ride towards the corner. Yeah, he committed to that pretty early against the EXA Tatsu there, so that was a pretty confident read there from nice Sotolongo. Nice counter-hit conversion off the medium, and there's the shimmy. Oh my day, Sotolongo is running riot right now. Yo, this combo's pyro, going on for Larry Yonks. And the Ken Classic, back medium. He said, <laughs> he said, get your overhead the hell out of here. Uh, but unfortunately, he gave him the round by doing that Tatsu on block. And even if it only hit once, it's still at least minus seven. Yeah. Oh, nice. there you go. Oh, oh, this is... It's awkward to hit that. Uh, that's why I just go for the DP normally, because it is awkward to hit that at uh, all ranges. Okay. That whiffed first hit of the target combo into the heavy Tatsu. Ooh. He's going to get the stun, though. Oh, no, he's not. That's Look a at that. Situation How, for him. Yeah, that's have a you situation ever seen actually. a stun bar that full and not actually be stunned? That wow. was crazy. Can you blame him? He dropped his combo and said, you know what? If you're not going to punish it on time and be on point with that whole situation, I'm going to do it. Sure, you can through your string. Classic Ken strategy there, but... Whose fault is it? It definitely isn't Apple Pino's. I'm, look, I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, you're definitely crazy, but... Hey, finish your plate, you know? Finish your plate. Didn't that's, even that's start all you can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So let's see how this goes here. Apple Pino one game up against Sotolongo currently. Well, that could be punishable by Heavy, sure you could surely. That was a poorly spaced quarrel kick. Nice, but medium punch. I wouldn't risk it, you know? Fair, fair. Especially, especially with Gil, because damn, the damage. True, and he, has, he hasn't got a crush counter, so that'll be properly unscaled with that 1.2 multiplier, right? The increased damage oh, on the Oh, he didn't get the... Oh, the two parry attempts just didn't come off there for Sotolongo. Good block, and the punish as well. Is he going to set up another delayed freeze lance? Is he going to stay in front? No, the V-shift. This is the... Wow! He set that up. Nah, he knew that was coming. He must have known that was coming, surely. Oh, nice! Damn. Nice patience. Do you know what? Those are some good interactions between the two players there, but again, Apopino mm. getting that activation and taking that round there. Sotolongo thought he was able to elevate his game psychologically, but Apopino just still ahead of the game here. As you say that, Sotolongo converts another 30% anti-air combo. Super on point with his anti-air crouch fierces, I have to say. Yeah. Throw. Yeah. I think he walked back into that one. Throws him out of the low forward activation attempt. Uh-oh! Nice punish. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Minus seven. That's good. Yeah, because uh, it's a seven frame crouch fist, right? From uh, yep, yep. Guild. So that well, was that's optimal. Heavy, so. Yeah. So he's got a really good benefit in that situation there. So good stuff. Again, he, he definitely knows his stuff with Gil. Oh, wow. And just backing off here, waiting for his opportune moment. I think he's waiting for a jump or an ex Tatsu against Trinancia, but he's going to switch up his game plan right now here, Sotolongo. Call kick. <coughs> oh, Longo's got... Sotolongo's got good awareness of Ken's medium kick as well. He's ducking after the first hit of that on block and then pressing a button straight away. Obviously, Ken's medium kick's minus two. Um, oh, and he can go big. into a He's target dead. combo. Oh, you surely could have just He's done a combo dead. to super. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Shoulda, woulda, coulda at this point. If Apopino wins this, you're going to regret this. Whoa. Oh, that's right. Okay. Crisis averted. And that was a much more solid performance from Sotolongo. The first round was really, really dominant. The second round, or his second round, sorry, 
uh, the final round of that game. Really showed uh, a lot of his awareness situationally of some of Ken's stuff. Um, tried to use a couple of parries, didn't come off. But I feel like his interruptions were really, really good. He was interrupting well with a crouching button after block medium kick, um, which is the correct thing to do there. You're going to have to force Ken to try and do an EXDP if he wants to put you off doing that. But other than that, yeah, it's just the damage, the conversions of those crouch fierces were really, really on point. Much more solid game there from Sotolongo. Yeah, for sure. And again, like he, he's proved it time and time again today, right, with the Urian and the Gilmore. So it looks like he's having a lot of fun playing Gil because he is an extremely fun character. Um, hopefully he can you know, take it to the distance because, again, Logan still wants his boy Apapino to make it to the final. Oh, nice. so he can Apapino trying to empty jump in there and get something going, but... Nice, here we go. Let that DP off. What have we got now? Out of the corner. Wow. Oh, the okay. parry does work this time. Oh, this is going to be big. Is he going to set oh up shot here? Oh, my God. Oh, what have we got here? Ooh, a good block nice block. From Apple Pino. He's been 100% success rate in all of those, dealing with those delayed free Blow straight track. through the Tree of Frost. Oh, my God. The damage here is going to be ridiculous. Oh, oh no. Dead. If he had 1,000 health there, he still would have died. Let's see if he's still got anything left in the locker here, Logan. Uh, Sotolongo. Oh, there bad we choice. go. Bad Solid choice. fundamentals, medium DP, anti air. Very impressive round from Apopino. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the exchanges and the interactions between these two. Complete back and forth. Situational awareness is there between these two. Just one or two things just slipping, but it, it does happen when you are playing in these uh, tournaments. He tried. Good trade, though. I think that's still not too bad. Minus Punish, 12. yeah. Oh, he catches the back dash. Stun's racking up. Back yeah, he's still alright to not... take the back throw. Yeah, that wasn't going to do yeah. the stun. It does It does 200 stun, not, oh, but, but not that much. Is he going to set up another trap? I think he should do I'd something imagine else. He's so. set up another trap. Uh, wow. The DP, but he doesn't get anything off of it because of the knockdown. Yeah, stay there. Just stay there. I, I would have stayed behind the trap, but regardless of what I say, he's going to do his own thing, make his choice, get the grab, and try and equalize this up here. Looking good, Sotolongo. Going from strength to strength. I'm going to start off the day. Oh, that was unfortunate, but good conversion there from Apopino. Oh, nice low. Yeah, good. That's something you talk about uh, before, Logan. Where he just crouches last minute and then tries to get the whip punish. That's good. No, good right, conversion from that target up. combo. V reversal. I think that's his first one today, Sotolongo. Longo, actually. I haven't really seen much V reversals from him. But, oh, that could have been. Surely. Okay, blows through. Jump. No V trigger. So he has to get a little bit, probably has to deflect another fireball or something. Oh no, he's dead. Going into set game now for Apopino. Gets him in that corner and really just, you know, goes to work on him. The pressure is converted into damage. And that's the big thing, right? You need to make sure when you're getting these situations, your Oki, your pressure, your corner situations, you don't want to just be burning your resources on maintaining pressure. You want to be spending your resources converting into damage. And Apopino is doing that. Are we going to see a character swap there flow from Sotolongo? It looks I like it, will. again, going with the similar strategy he went with uh, with his previous opponent, you know, try mm. take Gil as far as, he, as far as he can and then go back to the U and it's good when you have two characters like that, even a third if possible. But um, again, a uh, different opponent, different kettle of fish, but his, his what do you think about, a little bit worse. What do you think about his Gil's use of, um, you know, the trap? Because I feel like, you know, he was looking for resets a lot more than he was looking for damage. Uh, I think he left a lot of damage on the table. And potentially some of those resets into trap, you know, they might look good when they come off, but obviously it is a 50-50. So you can't guess wrong. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think he had the previous season mentality, uh, which some players do have with particular characters. So he just said, you know what, sit up shot and go for the 50-50. And he probably didn't acknowledge or consider the fact that Apopino will just V-shift out of there or successfully block and try well, to he didn't punish. Really, yeah, he didn't really show the V-shift, though, did he? He was just... He done it, well, he done it once or twice. Yeah. Mm. But uh, I think, look, even at one point, 
we saw Apapana do wake up Shoryuken and that traded. And I was like, that's something I haven't yeah. seen, but that's how confident Apapana felt in that situation. So if anything, that's one of the reasons why the guild players have stopped using V-Trigger 2. So if he is going to change anything, Go back to V Trigger One or do the complete switch and play with Urian because either way. I well, it worked from last time, right? That Urian definitely got the job done uh, against Sandow in the first round. He looked really, really confident and comfortable with that Urian. I mean, he looks comfortable and comfortable with Gil, but his decision making was really clearly polished with Urian. So I, I think Urian might be uh, coming out to play this time round. We'll find out, though. Yeah, for sure. And as Logan is. called it, he is. Yeah, it's literally deja vu all over again. He's gone with the V Skill 2 Indignant Thunder, along with V Trigger 1, gone up against Apple Pino. Not really phased by anything. That's what I love about this guy. When he plays Ken, you definitely know he's having a very good day and a very good time playing Street Fighter mm -hmm. 5. And Urian is probably as just another obstacle in his way. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Nice to see them not skipping the character uh, intros. So we only get to see maybe a second and a half of the speed up rather than the whole round. Yeah. Nice whip punish nice chariot, chariot tackle. tackle. Well, I mean, oh, nice empty jump. Gets the conversion. Light headbutt gets hit out of the air. Damn, now both of these guys are swinging for the hills. At oh this my point. God. Uh, what was he looking Bruv. for there? Whatever it was, it worked. What, Bruv, he what, just threw out a work. light DP. Hey, this is your boy, you know. <laughs> He's doing exactly what you asked him to. He's trying to make it to the winner's final of the upper bracket. Wow, that was medium, by the way. Nice. Damn, he's, he's going in right now. Back throw. All right, to play Ooh. hesitant. Oh, okay, spent the bar. Probably wasn't ready for the, and another the dash bar. conversion. Nowhere near in range for that throw. He had the frame Universal. advantage, but he was nowhere near close enough, and that's why he oh, had that's that dead. medium Yeah, punch. that's dead. He's done. Closing it out there from the jump. Wrap combo. it up. And the good news it. is, ladies and gentlemen, mine and Jammers' picks for the tournament are going to be meeting in winner's final, so we're going to have a grudge match.